Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, this is Furniture Reincarnation, where weary furniture goes to get a new life and a new home. And uh, lately for the month of December, we're doing something a little different. Instead of doing the usual furniture flips, I'm doing toy furniture flips for Christmas, for Christmas toys for girls and boys. And we have been commissioned by Santa to go ahead and have these toys ready. So we are working all the time trying to get this done. Today, I'll be working on some children's rocking chairs and um, come all along on the journey, on the reincarnation journey. Oh, and we'd encourage you also here at Reincarnation to hit like, make a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode of Furniture Reincarnation. And here are the two chairs that we're going to be flipping today. And as usual, we're going to start off with a nice clean wash. We're going to use Dawn dish soap and uh, water rinse. And uh, we're going to get these guys going. Let's get started. And the second chair is washed and rinsed, so we're going to set it aside to dry and get ready for the next step, which is a scoop of sand with my electric sander. So the chairs have had a chance to have dried off, and now we're going to go ahead and start scuff sanding. I'm going to have to use a foam back sandpaper on these rounded edges, since I don't have the rounded applicator for sanding. But first we're going to use some plastic wood filler to fill in some places that need filling. Now I'm using a foam back sanding paper in a 220 grit to get around the corners and round places. treatments on 
these chairs. This first one has a little bit of a, an odor. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle Boss on this to also give it um, a, more to adhere to and, and to cover the odors. I will be using also a Dixie Belle Paint on this one. So this one's going to require more coats because it's going to need the primer. Or actually, the it's going to need the boss and then it'll have some coats of paint and then a sealer. With this one, I'm going to use the melange paint and because it has a built-in primer, self-leveling, and it will need a sealer also, however. So two different treatments. I'm going to maximize my time by putting some boss paint on this first. And while that dries, I'll be painting this one with melange paint. You definitely want to avoid getting any runs or drips. Um, you want to try to get a smooth coat as possible. first coat of the boss on this rocker. So in the meantime, I'm going to set it aside and we're going to start on the next chair. Artisan, it's, the, it's a mineral paint, melange mineral paint in Fathom Blue. First I'm going to stir it up really well and then place it in a separate container. So. Let's get started. I also decided it was best to remove the rocker portion to paint. First coat on the rocker portion. And uh, I have to say, I really enjoy working with this melange paint. It's just very easy to work with. I believe that just taking off the rocker really makes a difference too, and being able to get into the little nooks and crannies of some of these places that you can see here. So we're gonna keep going and work on the second part of the rocker. this rocker and on this rocker I've gone ahead and done a, a second and third coat of melange paint on this one this one is gonna is now ready to go ahead and start painting I'm gonna do this one first so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some paint on here let it dry and while that's drying I'm gonna maximize my time again by Going ahead and putting a clear coat, top coat on this one. Then we'll come back and put a second coat on this one. And then another top coat on the melange chair and we'll be done. And I'm pretty excited to paint this chair because this is the first time, this is the first time that on camera I've actually mixed two different Dixie Belle paints together. And so now I've come up with a different color, soft pink, and mixed it with the Dixie Belle Blueberry. And voila, this is the color I've come up with. It's kind of a, a lilac or lavender color, I guess you'd call it. And I think it's really different. It's going to look different. It's going to be something more... Uh, to give it more of a unique look 
and I can't wait to get started. And I did mean to mention that the ratio to of paint is one to one for the pink to the blueberry. The wind is blowing really hard out here, so I'm having to add some water to my brush and also to the paint to keep it from thickening up uh, as the wind keeps blowing. First coat on and I'm gonna go ahead right now it feels like the temperature has dropped another 20 or so degrees well folks we're back and in inside because ever since I put the second coats on the chairs it has rained and rained and rained and not let up so we have to get these chairs sealed so I'm gonna be sealing those inside and Stay tuned. Um, it helps to mix in a darker paint with that. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And I'm going to be using a sponge applicator to go ahead and apply this. <laughs> coat of sealer is on the melange painted chair and we're going to get started with the Dixie Belle chair. Sealer is uh, a little thick. And we want to do thin coats, very thin coats and come back with the second coat. That's sometimes hard to do because you see places that you missed and you want to go ahead and do it anyway and I have to keep fighting myself to not do that every single time but uh don't want to do that add just a tiny bit here just enough to color it I guess I'm going to be using my two inch slanted brush and possibly also this um foam applicator. finished product we have the chair painted with melange and the melange top coat and over here we have the chair painted with Dixie Belle with a combination paint of blueberry and pink and top coated in a satin so thank you for joining us today on furniture reincarnation hope to see you next time 
we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and like and make we'd love to hear your comments so see you next time on furniture reincarnation